hello everyone in today's video i am going to create a schedule for this floor tiles uh, about how many tiles you want uh, to create this sort of floor as you can see in this image there are two types of tiles uh, the one in wood the one in dark color and the one in the lighter color so i want to calculate how many uh, tiles i require for this dark dark darker floor and how many tiles i require for the lighter floor so these are the this is the thing which we are going to learn in this tutorial but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime so now let's start the tutorial in one of my previous tutorials i have shown you guys about how you can create this sort of floor in revit the link to that tutorial is given below in the description box you can see in the 3d that this layer this floor is created in parts which you will learn in that tutorial about which i was talking previously so uh, first of all let me show you what are the dimensions for the tile which i have kept so this is basically one feet in length and three inches in width so this is basically a one feet by three inches tile and i want to calculate how many tiles i require to create the floor of this dimension for that go to this project browser then on the schedule and quantities right click with the help of your mouse and then click on this new material takeoff because i want to calculate the material quantity so i just simply select it but uh, as this is a floor as you can see but i have created this floor using the parts command so i will select these parts from this category and then after selecting this click ok a new dialog box appears and from here you can select the uh, fields you require in your schedule and quantities so here I have selected this material name and the material area because these are the two fields which I require so now click OK a new tab appears in which you can see the material names and the square footage areas it requires so this floor is created in three layers the wooden choice the plywood sheeting and the floor tiles so uh, you can see that the there are four type of materials in the schedule and quantities and the, there are four materials which have been used to create this flow but for the tiles calculation i require only the i require only the uh, the um, tiles uh, tiles information not the other one so and also you can see that this uh, uh, floor with which has lighter color tiles is divided in multiple parts so that's why it has so many rows for it so nothing to worry about which will just simply add it add it so the, and combine it into a single value there is another issue here which is that uh, the square footage is not zero but it has rounded off as such for that open this format unit and check this uh, use project settings and from here you can see that it is selected to zero decimal places and just simply select these three decimal places so that the uh, value is not rounded off to zero click ok and now you can see that the values are more precise and accurate now now in this properties dialog box go to the filter and a new dialog box appears from here let's select this material name and from here select contains and type tiles so that only those material name appears which contains the name tiles so because that's the only information we require so i have deleted the other information in this way filter that information then go to the sorting and grouping tab and from here select this material name 
and select the check this header and footer and from here let's select this count and totals and then go to this formatting tab and then go to the material area selected and from here calculate totals so that we have a total value of the square footage then click ok and now we have a square footage of the darker tiles and a square footage of the lighter tiles a combined value which we require for our calculation now as i have mentioned previously that the total uh, length and width of the tile is 1 feet by 3 inches which is 12 inches by 3 inches making it a total 36 uh, square inches and i want to convert it to square footage for that let's just simply go to google click on square in, uh, search square inch to square feet and let's convert the 36 square inches which is total of 0 0.25 square foot so now we know that the square foot of a single tile is 0 0.25 so here name one tile as tiles count then select this integer from here and add the formula which is material area divided by 0 0.25 as 0 0.25 is the square footage of a single tile so now we have the tiles count but our table has been misplaced so again open this field dialog box and we have we have a here the material name is deleted again add it move it upwards so that it is appear first in the table then go to the filter tab and again select this material name contains tiles because that's the information we require for this schedule then go to the sorting and grouping select the material name sorry material, uh, material name then check this header and footer and then let's keep the totals only then go to the formatting and the material calculation so now we have the total number of tiles as well as the total square footage so now we no, these are the number of tiles we require to create this floor but again we don't have a total uh, number of tiles uh, for this lighter wooden tiles and also you can see that it has given the tiles separate tiles number for this this one so to add them and to have a final one value go to the sorting and grouping tab and go sorry go to the formatting tab and here select this tiles count and select this calculation calculate totals and then click ok and now we have the total number of tiles we require for the darker wood and the lighter wooden tiles so you can see that how easy and simple it is to, to create the schedule and quantities to calculate the materials required for the floor and i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe